Hey YouTube, what I am doing here with all this crap, I decided to um, make like an extension cord for my plasma cutter and, and welder. Um, I have a Lotos um, Pilot Arc 1 AC 110 120 inverter and I have a Everlast um, 160 uh, high frequency TIG welder. Um, they both run off the 110 220 and they both have different plugs. Um, my Everlast has a standard um, 220 plug <clears throat> and then it comes with this little thing here. So you plug in the 220 into this part here and then you plug this into the 110 and then I guess the IGB converter um, I think that's what it's called. It's convert to some uh, changes the polarity um, but I wanted to use this plug for this but it had a different plug it had like a three prong twist and lock which is like a circular one um, and it kind of more or less looked like that and you plug it and twisted it so it doesn't come apart which is nice to have so it doesn't unplug on your ass um, but I didn't <clears throat> I didn't want to have to get an extension cord and I didn't want to get wear different receptacles and all that yada yada I wanted to use this for it because um, I was going to use it at 110 if I wanted to use it 110 or 240 but I have to make it work with this so what I did is I got a universal um, plug and I took the round one off and I changed it for um, this plug here I think this plug was like 14 bucks I think you get it online for you know I don't know, 12 10 8 or something I don't know. Um, so now I can plug this in and plug it into the wall and it's the same as my um, welder so I got that taken care of. So now it has the same plug. So if I wanted to use the 110, I can use it. If I wanted to make a, um, a 220 outlet um, in my basement, then I could do that too. I really don't want to use the plasma cutter in the basement. Um, it just smells like metal and there's sparks and stuff. And I'm like in a little small area in my basement. It's not big. So I'm over by like the water heater and the furnace and the um, water softener and um, dryer and stuff like that and I was like oh dryer that worked perfect um, instead of spending like I don't know 80 bucks on a on a wire and wire it here and then spend another you know 30 bucks or whatever it costs or 20 bucks for the for the uh, 30 amp 50 amp switch and then take two knockouts out of my uh, box when I still need to run 220 out to the garage um, I'm like well why don't I just use the 220 off the dryer um, but then I looked at the dryer plug and the dryer plug is like a four prong um, it's a four wire it has a hot and a another hot and it's I think it might be smaller one smaller one's bigger <clears throat> then it has a ground at the top and then it has a neutral at the bottom and, and it's like a little L shaped one so obviously this is a three prong and they ain't gonna work and the other the dryer one has one right here and it, all it is is like a safety um, for the it's a code for safety so what I decided to do was make an extension cord where I can hook up the the conversion plug that I made and use in the dryer so what I did is I got um, a four inch uh, square uh, gang box which is like a deep one and I got a um, 220 um, outlet cover and I don't know if I got the right ones of these but these just keep it from pulling through the hole, holes 
And you can buy an extension cord for like 80 bucks or something like that, but I bought all this stuff here, um, and I don't, I'm not gonna count the plug. That's something that that's something different. But <clears throat> ground straps, I really didn't need to get these, but I figured sh whatever. And then a pre-wired terminal um, already ready to go, and I got this for like under 20 bucks at Home Menards. Yeah, I think this is a couple bucks. This is a couple bucks. This is a couple bucks. This is a buck, and this is like, I think I got this on sale for like eight eighty-eight or something like that. Um, so, anyways, so what I'm doing now here is uh, utility, right? Jeez. There it is. I don't like the food. Dang, I just messed up my new table that I made. Oh, um, so we got this here. Oh, we got that too. So that, oh, that's for the knockout. And maybe I can take these back and get two dollars back. Um, then it'll be like a sixteen dollar. So what you want to do is, and there's a difference too because this is only a three wire. You have um, the black and what is this? Can't remember. Well. I'll show you right here. When you do this, there's like a green, there's a green with a yellow stripe, and then there's like a blue, and then there's a brown, or it looks like red. So basically what you do is um, the green with the yellow stripe is the ground, and then you use the two other ones, the blue and the brown for hot. Um, but on a dryer, it has four. And this works the same. Um, you just don't need all of them. So this is four feet, and this is the dryer cord that I'm talking about. So this will be the cord for the back of the dryer. So when I use it, all I do is just unplug the dryer and uh, use that. And I, I don't know what this is, but they say this is 300 volts. Um, and if you want to make your own extension cord and shit, they say you use um like six three wire or eight three they always say you want to go ten ten like ten amps amperages over what you're using um so basically what i have here is all these terminals and uh now i don't know what the hell i did with the plug with the receptacle itself i know i bought one What the hell did I do with it? I don't know what I paid for that one either. I think I bought that one for like 10 bucks. I don't know what the hell I did with it. It's around here somewhere. It has to be. Mm, I got so many bags around here in my basement with shit in them that I buy. Like, I buy shit all the time, so. I guess I'll have to go upstairs and get get that. But uh, yeah, so well, without I want I guess I was not prepared, but I wanted to show um, what I what I was doing. So basically, it goes the same way here. Like um, your green, basically, will be your ground. So what you want to do is cut that off. Um, Unless this works on the back, but but you don't need the white, so you can just disregard that. So basically, see if you're looking at this, it will go this one to that, this one to that, this one to that. So it doesn't really matter if you do red over here or, or black over here. It just matters if you have both the powers um, in there. And look in look in the bag or just reference to see what color is coded because sometimes it might be different I guess you could take a voltmeter and check the ohms on it I just got this the other day this is 22 bucks I had a piece of shit Harbor Freight one but this one's pretty nice it's small really small it's all digital so um, so you, you can test the the resistance on them 
I, I, I don't really know how to use one of these things. I can do um, volts and I can do uh, ohms. I just got it for the ohm meter. Because um, you want ohms resistance on spark plugs and stuff like that. I try to see if the spark plugs are bad. You put them on the end. The less resistance, the better the, uh, the spark plug is. But anyway, so what you do is you cut these terminals off. You don't use this terminal. And uh, what you want to do is if you have a metal metal box, you want to use the ground strips. And you want to take it from the green ground and go directly to the back of the metal box. Because this is almost like um, pretty much using this wire here is like a ground, is like a ground wire. Um, so yeah, and it just won't start shooting up fire. So what you do um, is put all this together, and um, I'll have to go dig for that other receptacle. But I can make a follow-up video uh, to show you exactly what I'm doing. So this is just the crap that you need. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know, you know, what it is. And uh, I'll stop this video and uh, I'll make a part two. Um, yeah, because I don't like using the cut and paste crap off the YouTube version. I haven't used it yet, so it'd probably be easier to cut and paste and speed things up, but whatever. Make it easy on me. I don't care if you have to watch it for 15 minutes. All right, see you later, ScrewTube.